Today we're going to be looking at a completely hypothetical 2020 electoral map based off the house, the current house composition across every state in the United States. So you already know how this is going to go. If the Democrats have more house seats in a certain state, the state goes to the Democratic Party. And of course, the same thing goes for the Republicans, more Republican seats, more the state goes Republican. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple to follow. I'm not going to be following any format. I'm just going to start off. Um, actually, I'll use the poll closing format, but I'm not going to do it special like I do my other videos that are based off data. So we're going to start off with the state of Indiana. So we already pretty much know how the state of Indiana um, is going to go based off its Republican identity. And of course, it goes to the GOP. We will actually not going to be using um, safe, likely leaning and toss up states because of the fact that it will take a little bit too long. And again, I really don't like prolonging um, pure data videos because again, it's not beneficial to most people. So we go over to the state of Kentucky. That one was surprising. If you look at the state legislative elections here, uh, the Democrats used to be in the majority before 2016. But we go over to South Carolina, Georgia, go to the Republican Party. Um, that wasn't really a shocker. Georgia is a closer state than some other states may be. But right now, you can pretty much expect South Carolina and Georgia to go to the GOP. Another state that's a little bit surprising, the state of Virginia. The Republicans don't win the popular vote here, but they have, I believe, right now a 7-4 to four majority in the House of Representatives, yet they lost the popular vote back in 16. So we look at the map. We have currently five states filled in and 57 electoral votes for the Republicans and zero for the Democrats. But, of course, Vermont comes in for the Democrats with their sole representative. So far, we have a total of six states covered, but now we move over to the 7.30 p.m. poll closings. Ohio goes to the Republicans, along with that, the state of West Virginia, and along with that, the state of North Carolina. So essentially, a clean sweep for the Republican Party, putting them at 95 electoral votes. We move over to 8 p.m., Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Missouri, and Oklahoma all go to the GOP for obvious reasons. Keep in mind, these are... Uh, Republican states at heart, and probably you shouldn't expect them to flip in a while. You go over to the state of Maryland, though, Democratic Territory, Delaware, with its sole district, they're going to the Democrats. New Jersey comes in, goes for the Democrats, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. All three of those states do not have a, I don't, Connecticut may have one, but none of the states, um, remaining states have a single uh, rep Republican representative. Connecticut may even not, but um, again, I don't know exact composition in these states i just know the majority for either party so we go over to the district of columbia they don't have a representative that actually represents something but um they do get elected so that one goes to the democrats obviously the state of new hampshire previously one republican one democrat now goes to the democrats um pretty convincing of a state considering that it's uh, a swing state but maine is a split district meaning i'll just split the electoral votes no real reason why um, I would do it that way, but it's just because I would have two and two, so it's even. I'm not doing it based off um, congressional districts or Maine at large. But now we have 140 electoral votes in the Republican column. I'm not done with um, 8 o'clock just yet, and 61 in the Democratic column. Illinois goes to the Democrats, boosting up their number a tad bit. But we go over to the state of Pennsylvania, and that's where the Republicans did pretty well there, putting them at 160. And then another state that closes at this time, the state of Florida, goes to the Republicans. So that puts them at 189 electoral votes. Sea of red down here. Pretty surprising. 81 electoral votes for the Democrats. Of course, Arkansas, as usual, goes to the Republicans. And then we go into the 9 p.m. poll closings. Louisiana goes to the Republicans, along with the state of Texas. So, again, the state of Texas and Louisiana, now the Republicans are nearing that margin. Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, and Wyoming all go to the Republicans, and mainly because the Republicans do pretty well in a number of these states, and you really don't expect them to lose in elections that have only one district when the statewide goes um, for a presidential candidate by a considerable margin. You shouldn't really expect it to change in the House of Representatives race, but it's likely, not likely, but it is possible to change in some other races, but um, enough talking about that. We have 261 electoral votes for the Republicans and 81 for the Democrats. They have the majority in both Colorado and New Mexico, enough to put it in their column. But Arizona puts the Republicans over the top um, at 272 electoral votes. But we're not done just that. Um, New York goes to the Democrats. Pretty safe for the Democrats, considering that I did expect more Republican seats, but there weren't that many. We go over to Michigan. That one also goes to the Republicans, which not that surprising, but um, something to note. Wisconsin as well, going to the Republicans, and the state of Minnesota remains in its Democratic identity. So um, 
remains in the Democratic column. And then we can move on to the 10 p.m. poll closings. Iowa goes to the GOP. Utah, Montana goes to the GOP. But the state of Nevada goes to the Democrats, which is pretty surprising considering there are more Republicans leading into 2016. But that puts the Democrats at 140 electoral votes and the Republicans at 313. Here's a big one. California goes to the Democrats, putting them at 195 electoral votes, along with Oregon. Okay, Oregon goes, and so does Washington and the state of Hawaii. As usual, all these states go blue. And now I believe we have finished off with the map, and we finish off the map with 320 electoral votes, giving the Republicans the victory in the Electoral College based off the House composition map. Again, not a prediction, and the Democrats at 218 electoral votes. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down suggestions below, and I will see you all tomorrow.